lecture i am going to discuss about how to drop multiple columns with alter table statement in microsoft sql server so here i am using the table score.emp and i want to delete here the columns test1 and test2 so let's uh, see the query so first here writing alter statement then table and here escort.emp after that let's use here drop and giving the column name test1 and next column going to drop test2 ok now let's uh, run this query so here you can see or uh, there is the problem with the or uh, table the problem with the table is that this column has a foreign key or uh, the constant is there fk underscore dpt number and uh, so if uh, there is no any constant then uh, with the help of this query we can directly delete if constant is there so let's uh, remove the constant first so alter or table and escort dot emp and then after dropping the constant word first drop constant so here the constant name fk underscore dpt fk underscore dept number ok so let's uh, run this query so command uh, completed successfully now let's uh, drop so here there is another constant is here dpt fk underscore dpt number one let's remove now uh, here the constant that remove now this time is going to remove here the two columns so command completed successfully and now let's so uh, run this so here you can see the table or column that's the uh, deleted test one and test two that's deleted now or uh, this time going to delete here so if a table has the column has the constant then you need to uh, first drop the constant then you can use that if the uh, table column does not have constant then you can directly delete so let's uh, delete here or uh, there com commission here you can see commission is there mgr next going to delete mgr okay to count this that I'm trying to or uh, drop or delete. So here MGR and commission does not have any constant, so that it's uh, deleted or uh, there. And now let's run. Here you can see there is no entity MGR and com column is there. Like this, you can give or uh, this place or uh, more than two columns to delete. So this is the way we can drop multiple columns with alter table statement in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.